You know how Rogan could one-shot Battle Titans? That was a bug. Fixed an issue causing all players in a party except for the host to deal insurmountable damage to Battle Titans with certain support weapons, namely Railgun and Arc Thrower, as long as you had a PS5 player in the party. It doesn't say that, but that's exactly what was happening before. With the PS5 buff, Railgun could two-shot Battle Titans in safe mode pre-nerf. Two shots to the face, no other help needed, done deal, they were dead. Post nerf, you can still two shot them with the bug active. All you had to do was go in unsafe mode and get just enough armor pin, which is roughly 80% charge. It wasn't that long at all. Two shots, same thing, it's gone. And it's all because of this bug. Now, I believe that was a factor in why Rogan got nerfed in the first place. Sure, it could kill chargers quickly in the sense of stripping their armor. And you could do insane armor pin without exiting safe mode. That change was no big deal. That made sense, but the damage got nerfed. More on that later. The Arc Thrower is another example of why I think the Rogan got nerfed. It feeds the example. They, a dev said the Arc Thrower was slapping Battle Titans across the map. I guess they watched a the streamer doing that. Turns out, though, when you play the Arc Thrower and you have no crazy bug buff active, it takes you roughly 20 to 30 shots to kill a Battle Titan at full HP. I'm not sure what your definition of slapping is, but... That's a competition I could win slapbox wise for sure. Then some light haters, brother. Tell you what. I, I just don't see how that's a reason for nerfing the arc for changing the arc thrower, which I'm not mad with the changes. I'm just pointing out that was their reasoning. The arc thrower was slapping battle titans across the map. Would it not be safe to say that if the railgun was, which was literally slapping battle titans across the map, two shotting from Narnia, that wouldn't play a factor in that nerf as well? This is making it so Battle Titans take way more damage than they ever should, at least as far as I can tell. And also led to the nerf of the Rogue Gun, as far as I can assume. It's been a few months, and I'm still assuming. I wonder though, when did they know about the bug, and why were they not more transparent in the patch notes about how it worked? All they said was, fix an issue that resulted in different damage being dealt to enemies between PC and console players, at the very bottom of the patch notes. That was a big part. Of the game for a few months two shotting battle titans with railgun one shotting in some cases that's not a bigger deal i guess not now just because the patch notes say a bug is fixed doesn't always mean that's the case however it's looking pretty fixed to me that thing is dead to rights took a max charge shot doesn't even care i'll take a few more as well and still not down a railgun i had to bust out the anti-tank to kill it and this leads me to a different talking discussion for another time but still important Railgun is basically useless. Ah, but you can kill Devastators and Hulks real fast, and even Berserkers and Marauders. I can just use other guns to do that. Jar 5 for Devastators, and or AMR and Auto Cannon for Devastators, Hulks, Tanks, Gunships, Fabricators. Railgun doesn't kill many things, and the things it does kill most of the time, it's not very effective, especially on the bug side. The gun's bad. It's really, really bad. And what's funny, it was never that good to begin with. I mean, it was amazing, but it wasn't as powerful as you think. The damage wasn't the issue, it was the ease of use. Going through shield and shield in a safe mode shot. Stripping charger leg armor and all you needed was two shots that just had enough charge to be fired. They didn't even have to reach the safe mode limiter. You could do all the damage you wanted to in safe mode. What was the point in having unsafe mode if it didn't really do a whole lot for you? There was none. And that made the weapon too dang easy to use. It didn't help with the PS5 bug and also let you two-shot Battle Titans. That contributed to folks believing the gun was absolutely broken. Which, to be fair, it was, really, it, it was broken in the ease of use aspect. But if you remove them two-shot and Battle Titans, I don't think it gets nerfed as heavily. Because it became a weapon that could handle... Pretty much everything on the bug side in two or one shot, which is now pretty common given the addition of the Quasadilla cannon. You can two shot Battle Titans if your hits land correctly, and one shot chargers when aiming for its forehead. But the difference there is one is an anti tank weapon through and through, and the other is in a weird middle ground. And the Quasar doing what it does, I think is fine. The railgun shouldn't be on the same level by any means whatsoever but I do believe it should have more armor penetration damage or something of the manner. There should be something it can do to better deal with more armor targets given its description 
fits those lines. It's supposed to be a weapon to deal with armor penetration. It don't feel like it does that, necessarily. Not any better than other weapons and not given the high risk, high reward. More on that later. It took me 12 shots to kill a Ball Titan today. So this is the current patch. Arc Thrower is a whole different ballpark. And this goes into a different discussion, which is me still believing wholeheartedly they nerfed or they changed the Arc Thrower for sure because it was doing too good against the Ball Titans. I don't think that range was a major issue, especially when you didn't have the knockback it does now beforehand. But because you could have the increased range, that would also give, give you potential to one, two, three shot battle titans. That didn't look too good for the outside viewing eyes, which makes sense. And that, it just goes to show you when you have these kinds of game breaking bugs and a lack of understanding, which I'm still assuming here, maybe they knew exactly what's happening and they changed it for other reasons, but I doubt it. We are currently 30 shots deep on a battle titan with the arc thrower. And I don't see any slapping happening here whatsoever, which begs the question, why would a dev say this? People are using the Arc Thor to slap Bile Titans across the map. I don't know, bro. With infinite ammo, mind you, that part's true. I started to think, yeah, that's probably too much. Now, I have no qualms or issues with the devs of this game. Some philosophies are scuffed, if you ask me, but it'd be what it'd be. If you're nerfing things in the game because of a game-breaking bug that many folks were talking about, making videos on, discussion in the Discord and whatnot, that's unfortunate. That's all I can say about that. It's unfortunate that's happening. And if this comment... Like it, the comment sounds like that's a big reason why the Arc Thrower got nerfed. Slapping battle times across the map, the range got nerfed. Checks out. Fire rate got nerfed. Checks out. But when you realize it takes you 50-something shots, maybe 40, maybe even 30, to kill Bile Titan with no bug in effect, and then they nerfed it because with, with the bug in effect, it's two or one or three. That's a bit game breaking, no? Because Arc Throw wasn't a weapon that I thought was ever really broken. It was useful, but never really broken. It was also buggy to use in the first place. Your arc never really going where you want it to go, and it not necessarily chaining enemies that well either, and it gets hung up hung up on dead boggies. Dead boggies? What? If you want a healthy boggy, get some protein or creatine powder from echovision.com using code OTOPLAYS10. Hashtag not sponsored. I do have to fit code, but I'm not being paid to say nice things. For instance, berry cheesecake, their most sold out flavor. I don't love it. I'll drink it, but I wouldn't really buy it again per se. Not my cup of tea. S'mores? I like. Don't love, but I like this. I mix it with my Honey Nut Cheerios. I pour this into Fairlife Milk, blend it up in a little Helix mix cup, and pour it in Honey Nut Cheerios and eat that. Is that weird? Maybe. But it's a higher protein cereal. AMA. Now, I am still using Rise Peanut Butter Cup Protein. Hashtag not affiliated whatsoever with that. In my shakes. Because I use strawberries frozen with my shakes. I make it every night. And these don't go the best, at least for me, with frozen strawberries. They do have other protein flavors like chocolate. I think it's like peanut butter chocolate maybe. I might try that. If I like it, awesome. If not... I'll probably stick with Rise for my shakes. But s'mores, if you're looking for... If you want protein, you can blend with just milk or water and drink. These taste really good. My Rise stuff, not so much. Tastes good in the shake, though. And creatine, 25 bucks for 200 servings. I don't think you can beat that. The flavor is not as good as Optimum Nutrition, but it's not bad. It's not really chalky, if that makes any sense. Also... Creatine and protein powder isn't just for folks that lift and want to be uh, fitness, whatever. It's good for you. Protein, yeah, everyone gets that. You look at macronutrients, protein, fats, carbs. Protein's on there. It's the most satiating macronutrient, keeps you fuller longer. And creatine has been researched like crazy, and there's so many benefits. Do I know them all? No. Do I still take it, and I have so for the past few years? Yes. Five grams a day. Apparently, if you're a bit heavier, like 200 pounds, maybe go 10 grams. You do you. Consult your doctor or whatever. I, I don't know. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. Peace.